It's here. The Barbie movie is officially out. We'll break down what you need to know if you're planning on seeing it. Good morning. I'm Nikki Torres. Coming up on Studio 13, it is early merch day in Seattle for the Taylor Swift Eras Tour. We will take a look at all of the Swifties walking away with some early merch. Everything that they have to offer that is coming up. And we are announcing the winner of our ticket giveaway. If you can't make it to the concert, there is a big Swifty event tonight featuring a dance party and Taylor-themed cocktails. And Visit Seattle is here to talk all about how we can break records with all the events in Seattle this weekend. Then we're getting a taste of the unique brunch menu at Ascend Prime Steak and Sushi. Studio 13 Live starts right now. I want to see you smile, take you another mile. Don't gotta wait, don't gotta wait, don't gotta wait today. It's happening all around, like sun shining through the clouds. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make your day. Hey friends, happy Friday. Thank you so much for being here with us today. We're so excited to have you. I'm Carly Henderson. And I'm Maria Garcia. It is indeed a very, very big day. And you know, it is also the last day of our Taylor Swift week. We are back with our friends, Jubal, Lita, and Victoria. Hello, everybody. Hi. Hi. Um, and you know, in case you live under a rock, they are, of course, from the Jubal Show on <laughs> Hits 106.1. And we are all dressed in our theme for today, which is 1989. Yeah, rocking it. This one is uh, inspired by one of her tour outfits from the 1989 Beautiful. tour, which is the first tour I ever got to see. Oh, that's cool. I love everyone's different like interpretation yeah. of it. It's really cute. Very exciting. Taking it. Um, well, thanks so much for being here, guys. And before we chat, we have to get into uh, Nikki Torres Live. She's out there at Lumen Field because, Nikki, I hear this merch store is officially open now. It's officially open and there were some small cheers when they finally opened up the <laughs> merchandise doors and also when they opened up the lines. So if it even gives you a little taste of the excitement that we are expecting for Saturday and Sunday for the Taylor Swift Eras Tour, it is just a very small taste. People are really excited about this concert. I have talked to people out of town, out of state. We were talking to people from Montana, from Colorado. They were all traveling in. Some of them even did a full road trip just so that they could see this concert. The merch doors finally open. You guys, there were people here so early since three in the morning. Some people 3:30 a.m. They set up their chairs. They had their blankets, had some books. They were on their phones, and some of them were also making their friendship bracelets. Which, if you are familiar with the Eras Tour, it is very much a part of the tradition when it comes to the concerts. Trading those friendships bracelets. I got one. Some people were trading amongst the line. What was really cool is talking to some of those people that were here. We thought we were here early. There were some people here again since three in the morning. We got to talk to them. Just take a listen. It's funny because we accidentally came here Wednesday night because we were going to pull an all-nighter but then we were like oh wait the merch truck is open until Friday so we were here but then <laughs> we went back and then we came back up here. This is for all my haters. I will get that blue sweatshirt. <laughs> you cannot stop me. I am a freight train. Now that, that crew neck's for me. No girlfriend. That's for me. I'm a, I'm a sleep in that. Just a quick note about the people that you just listened to. So the first two girls, they were the first in line. And then the second group of guys, just in case you were wondering, because I know that they were asked today, um, they are not just here for their sisters or their girlfriends. They all three of them said that they are here because they are all really big Swifty fans. Now, talking to the people that are in line here, it sounds like the most popular item that people are here for. It is going to be that midnight blue crew neck, which again, if you are a fan of this tour, it is one of the most popular items. There have been some cities that have been known to sell out of certain sizes of it. I just checked it out. There's actually a limit of two because they are so popular. Those of you who would like to come out here throughout today, again, early merch does go for several hours throughout this Friday before the tour actually starts. We do also have that black hoodie up there as well. That is something that is exclusive to on-site purchasing as well. That's really a big draw for a lot of people, and that's why they're lining up so early. They just want to assure that they're getting the merchandise that they want because some of this is exclusive to only on-site. You can't buy it online. Some of these are available on Taylor's website, but really that's what a lot of people are here for. They want to make sure that they get their sizes and the color of what they want. But I did mention the friendship bracelets from earlier. Just take a look at this. I've got a blue Eras Seattle bracelet, and that is just so sweet. There was some 
Uh, there was a, a Swifty that was walking by that gave me this one. I've made my own bracelets. I've got about 30 for this weekend. I know I need to make more. So excited for this concert, as is pretty much everyone else here outside of Lumen Field. And one more thing that I want to mention, you guys already looked at this line. What I didn't realize earlier is that on the other side of the stadium, there is another booth and another line just like this. So surely hundreds are here at Soto right now just to get access to this early merch. I'll send it back to you guys. Wow, the love for Taylor <laughs> knows no bounds. Thank you so much, Nikki Torres. Appreciate that. <laughs> All right, well, let's break down everything you do need to know ahead of the show. So Taylor, of course, playing Saturday and Sunday night. We know that it's happening at Lumen Field and it's going to be a really big traffic mess, you know, because the Mariners are playing the Blue Jays next door as well. Doors are going to be opening at 430 for the Swift concert. Gracie Abrams taking the stage at 625. Haim, which I'm actually pretty excited about, is taking the stage uh, at 7, then Taylor at 8. And the show, we've talked about this, guys. It is a long show compared to other concerts projected to end around 1120. Yeah, I'm so excited for that. <laughs> <laughs> and not to be dramatic, but it is going to be a traffic nightmare this weekend. Just got to let you know. So take a look at this quick map that WashDOT put out. You can see all of the events going yeah. on throughout the area. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I think it's better just to walk. No matter where you live, you'll get there quicker if you walk. <laughs> Probably. <Yeah>. Probably. <laughs> Honestly. Oh, boy. And look, here are some of the options that you have for transportation in case you don't want to hoof it, you know, from Bothell or whatever. <laughs> Sound Transit says the Sounder trains will be operating for the Saturday show so you got to check that schedule online and then if you're coming from up north you can always park at the Northgate Park and then take the light rail down I always love that option buses also good I know Carly you like buses too uh, so that's an option for you there's also the rally bus that you can take to the concert with fellow Swifties and you can get more info on that using the rally app what do you think Sweet. you're gonna do I think I'm going to have my boyfriend drop me off. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> he offered and I was like, I mean, that sounds really difficult, but I will definitely yeah. say yes. If you're offering, I'm taking it. He's going to hit the traffic on his way out. But yeah, probably. Yeah. probably. <laughs> okay. he'll be, he'll be, he won't even be home by the time the concert starts. Oh, no. <laughs> he wait for he already you. agreed. OK, okay anything yeah. for you. What are you guys going to do? I'm going to park at the station because we're mm. downtown, too. Okay. And, then I, and then I was going to Uber, but we'll see how that goes. Yeah. I'll find the Lime Scooter. Oh, oh that's cute. Okay. That's yeah, smart. Yeah. And then all the scooters will be waiting for us after the show, too. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. So you can just Genius. be right after that. That scares me because I fall off of those. I don't yeah. like those. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, 106.1 has a bunch of cool stuff going on this weekend for Taylor Weekend. Tell us all about it. Yeah, we do. I mean, still right now, there's tickets. You can't listen to the station for more than less than... What is it? Every, Less, every, every 20, 20 minutes. minutes. Every 20 minutes. She figured it out. <laughs> every 20 minutes we have tickets, so we've got all that stuff going on. And, I mean... There's just a ton of stuff. Well, today we're going to be at Houghton Beach in Kirkland oh. from 3 to 4, and we've got Taylor tickets to give away. But mm -hmm. this weekend, we're going to be out at Lumen starting at 2 o'clock on Saturday and Sunday. And then Saturday night, if you're up for the party, Trinity is the official Taylor Swift after party. Ooh, and we're fun. going to be giving away tickets there for Sunday night show. Yeah. Ooh. So it's nonstop. We still, still have Still some options. chances to There's get still some tickets. chances to get in, I and know. then it's just a big celebration with other Swifties. Oh, so. that's amazing. Yeah. Okay, so Jubal. Well, you've worked in the area for, of course, a really long time. Uh, Nina, you've worked at stations all everywhere. around the country. Okay. So uh, have you guys seen something like this before when it comes to the sort of pandemonium, the fandom of Taylor Swift? I, no, I have not <laughs> no. anything like this before. The, ever. the only thing that I think could have came close, and Carly, you might know this, mm -hmm. is in Chicago, Lollapalooza. But mm -hmm. that's a festival mm -hmm. okay. with every artist under the sun. This is Taylor by herself. I've never seen anything like this. Yeah. Why? I mean, she's literally changing the economy of t entire cities when she comes yeah, in. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> no, she mm -hmm. totally is. And I feel like all the local businesses are getting ready for Taylor. And actually, Trophy Cupcakes, let me show you this. Ah! They have these enchanting cupcakes for the weekend. Can you guys see this? Oh, those are so oh, the limited edition seven. era's dozen. There's all these different cupcakes. I'm trying not to drop them yeah. with a uh, Taylor Swift on them. Ooh, and you can get cute. them at Trophy Cupcakes all weekend long. So everybody pick your fave. I oh, all, all of them. <laughs> okay, yeah, um, they're going to be delicious no matter oh. what. Oh, oh. <laughs> that could have been a disaster. Yeah. You have to lick your fingers this time. 
sorry, Taylor. I'm sorry, Taylor. Oh, they are beautiful. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna um, go let's get to at least one other headline. I mean, the Barbie movie officially out mm. now, and we got to see if this marketing paid off. Because in case you didn't know, the film was directed by Greta Gerwig. It has an all-star cast, including Margot Robbie, Ryan Gosling, Issa Rae, Kate McKinnon, Michael Sarah, and many more. Filming started in March of 2022, and they used so much pink on set that they caused a global shortage <laughs> of one brand of pink paint. This budget was about $145 million, oh. and apparently the movie is for people who love Barbie and people who hate it. Yeah, and we've both seen it uh -huh. and loved the movie, so, you know, if you get a chance, we'd say... I'm definitely going to see it. Definitely watch I it. I absolutely loved it. It was so <laughs> campy. It was so fun. I thought the music was amazing yes. in it. We got two Lizzo songs. <laughs> I loved it. I love that. I love Billie <laughs> Eilish's yeah. song. I was kind of wondering how she was going to fit into it, too, because her music is so different from how you mm -hmm. think of, like, Barbie being, like, splashy and pink, <laughs> but I feel like it was just at, like, the best, most, like, heartfelt moment in the film. It was. Um, I thought they, like, knocked it out of the park. I, th I, I loved it. I laughed. I cried. It yeah. was a great time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and, of course, there, there are other huge openings happening this weekend. Of course, data company Digital Third Coast used Google search information to figure out which movies, okay, Barbie or Oppenheimer, which movies they are most excited about. So 27 states are leaning toward the Barbie movie. Uh, more excited to see Oppenheimer is the state of Washington. Okay, that's where people are most pumped. But I don't know. It, it feels pretty even to me. I say watch them both. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? A mashup, Barbieheimer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah that's, that's actually right. a real term. It it's is like Barbenheimer. Or yeah. Barbenheimer. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's supposed to also symbolize two extremes, like very, very different. Wow. So not just with the movies, people are using it in just pop culture terminology. Yeah, in their it. like own personality. Yeah, uh, I love it. <laughs> All right, well, the Jubal Show is sticking around for some more fun, including some tailored drinks and trivia. Yeah. Oh boy, stay tuned for that. Yeah, and a lot of big events happening around the area this weekend. We're going to be checking in with Visit Seattle on how we could break revenue and occupancy records. But, but first, we're going to check in with TMZ for our top entertainment headlines like Ariana Grande may not be dating, may now be dating. Oh boy, she just got the big old divorce. A hint with who she's working with. That's coming up next. Hey, some sad news here. Legendary singer Tony Bennett has died at 96 years old. He was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease in 2016, and he released more than 70 albums and is best known for songs, including I Left My Heart in San Francisco, I've Got You Under My Skin, and Fly Me to the Moon. He also won 20 Grammys in his long career and collaborated with countless artists of all genres, including Barbara Streisand, James Taylor, Paul McCartney, Bono, and of course, Lady Gaga, so we are just sending all of our thoughts to his family. All right, now it is time to check in on the world of celebrity news. So for that, we are bringing in TMZ senior producer Jacob Wasserman. Hey, how you doing? Doing well. How are you? Happy Good. Friday. Yeah, happy Friday indeed. So, you know, we learned earlier this week that Ariana Grande and her husband were getting divorced, and now we know she might have a new boyfriend who she works closely with. Tell us all about this. So his name is Ethan Slater, and they're actually co-stars together on the upcoming Wicked movie. E Ethan plays Bach. And uh, it's interesting because, like you mentioned, it was just a few days ago that we uh, announced that Ariana Grande and her longtime husband, Dalton Gomez, they are splitting up. And, I mean, it's just interesting to see that she's turning to one of her co-stars now. I'm curious how that might be working out on set. But from what we're being told, they're both happy, and they've been together for the past several months. Interesting. I feel like Ariana Grande really has no type. Like, I would never be able to guess who she's going to date next. And I've heard him referred to as the Tom Holland of SpongeBob, which is really... <laughs> Interesting description there, right? <laughs> well, I think SpongeBob because he played SpongeBob on Broadway. I wasn't even—I didn't even know that SpongeBob was on Broadway. But I guess he was so good to the point that he was nominated for a Tony. So sounds like a talented guy. Very talented guy. I feel like this is going to drum up a lot more interest in Wicked. I mean, everyone is already excited and waiting for this film to come out. But oh man, can't wait to see this on-screen chemistry. Um, let's talk about this too because Kevin Costner is a strange wife. I hear she's vacationing in Hawaii with one of his. Friends, what all do you know about this? Well, if you've been keeping up, uh, Kevin Costner and his estranged wife, Christine Bubgarner, they are going through 
a, an incredibly nasty divorce. But a really interesting development is the fact that she is now in Hawaii with one of their good friends. Uh, his name is Josh Connor, and he's a wealthy financier here in Los Angeles. And uh, you got these photos, and Josh is out shirtless, and Christine's right by his side. Now, it's kind of unclear what the status is of their relationship. We have one source telling us that they're getting very close with one, with one another, and another one telling us this is not a romantic thing at all. Regardless, there is a very nasty uh, divorce proceeding ahead of us, and they're going to have to work out child uh, child care, spousal support, and all that, and all that other stuff. Yeah, as well as friends, I guess. <laughs> Jacob Wasserman, thank you so much for filling us in on all that. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. All right, and don't forget, you can catch TMZ right here on Fox 13 weekdays at 7 p.m. And hey, still to come, the T-Swift party continues. W Seattle is showing us how to make their Taylor Swift-themed drinks, and you can hear all about their special pre-concert party that's going down tonight. But next, it's going to be a really chaotic weekend in our area, so Visit Seattle's joining us next to discuss what this means for the city. We'll be right back. Oh boy, we're getting a live look at Lumen Field setting up for the Taylor Swift concert happening this weekend. The vibe is vibing, everybody. Everyone is so excited about this. But let me tell you, the Taylor Swift concert is not the only thing that we have going on this weekend. In fact, there is, of course, Bite of Seattle, Capitol Hill Block Party, and a uh, multiple sporting events. Hello happening all this weekend. So this could very well be one of Seattle's busiest weekends to date. And in fact, to chat all about this is economic impact. Uh, is that Michael Woody, the senior vice president of community engagement with Visit Seattle. And we are going to be chatting about this incredible economic impact for the city. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me here today. Very excited. It is an exciting weekend for you. Thank you for making the time. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. So we do want to talk about that impact that big events like this, like individual big events have in the revenue for the city and what it means when we have multiple events going on. Yeah, you know, it's really exciting for us. You know, the uh, highest revenue days that we've ever had here in Seattle have had two things in common. One has been a big concert at Lumen Field, <laughs> and the other has been a summer weekend. Um, so for us to um, just recently have had our record-breaking day was when George Strait was here. Um, and we are looking forward to what is going to come of this weekend uh, with Taylor and all of the Swifties being in town. Yeah, they're already here, my friend, right? You, yes. We've seen the lines. <laughs> my goodness. Okay, but we also had MLB All-Star Week that just passed as well. So talk to me about the numbers we kind of saw there. Yeah, you know, um, really great numbers uh, over MLB. Um, we are just waiting for all of those numbers to come in, so we're very excited to see what is going to come of the actual numbers. Uh, but the projections were over $50 million of economic impact from the MLB All-Star Games. And that, now, granted, that's a five-day run um, of different activities, but um, really an exciting time for Seattle um, to really make our way back out of pandemic because we're still we still have some ground to make up um, and things yeah. like this really Really help for, to do that. So we have been hearing all over the news that Taylor Swift's concerts, they really are injecting a much needed boost to economies all over the nation. Do we expect that for us this weekend? We sure do. You know, I think when we look at the impact that, as we said, that perfect combination of things being um, a concert and a weekend in summer, um, we also have three games with the Mariners and the Toronto Blue Jays happening starting tonight. Um, and then we have six cruise lines that are in this weekend. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, the events that you had mentioned um, and a couple of conventions downtown. So all of the different segments of Seattle, the neighborhoods are going to be full and vibrant this weekend. Beautiful. Okay, so you and I were chatting during the break about how all of this stuff like feels like maybe it's super overwhelming, but the plans have been in place. People knew this was going to happen. So walk me through some of the decisions that were made early on that maybe help us manage all of this. Sure. You know, when you look at uh, multiple events happening in that uh, stadium corridor for us, um, uh, there's uh, a, an intention behind a Friday night game uh, at T-Mobile 
and the two games on Saturday being at one o'clock during the day. Right. Uh, when we have other activities happening, um, when we roll into the evenings, obviously for Taylor Swift concerts. So um, all of that uh, and a great, you know, uh, lineup for public transportation. Um, we've got Link and we've got all of these ways for people to get around. So um, much easier when you only have one event happening at a time. <laughs> yes, of course. Okay, so I have to know, do you remember any other weekend in the recent past that had the potential for this much revenue and this much busyness? Yeah, you know, we're really expecting this to be record breaking. Oh, wow. um, you know, the exciting thing for us is it's not only does it give us an opportunity to welcome a lot of people to Seattle to really experience this magical place we get to live, um, but it also is an opportunity to introduce them to a place that we hope that they will come back to. Um, so uh, it lifts all of our business sectors, so the restaurants and the retail, hotels certainly, sure. um, and the attractions. So it's really a great opportunity for a lot of businesses to do well this weekend, and we're looking forward to that. So our reporter Nikki Torres was just out at some of those long merch lines that have already started. She mentioned that there are many people from out of town, okay? We are talking from Montana, people coming in from Canada, They'll be here for a few days. Any recommendations other than the Swift concert? Well, I really encourage them to get around and experience this great city. Um, there's all of the iconic things that we think of, right? You know, check out the Space Needle and Seattle Center, check out Pike Place Market, check out Pioneer Square and Soto. I mean, great areas that are really part of the fabric of who we are. And I really hope that the uh, Swifties will get out there and check out all the things that make Seattle so special. I do know of some people who live in the area that are nervous. Maybe they're not going to the concert, but they're nervous about the amount of traffic. So once again, just kind of uh, give us a little bit of advice for how to avoid the bulk of that traffic while we still enjoy the communities that we love so much living here. Yeah, give yourself a little extra time. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, and really do take advantage of public transportation. You know, I think that's key. Um, if you can avoid being in your car uh, and trying to find a place to park, <laughs> that might be a good thing. Yes. Um, but, you know, also for the locals is just to really uh, take a, a, a soft look at it and say, all of these people are really helping to improve my quality of life. Um, and a lot of that is through the tax generation that it helps to support all city programs and services that we all love and appreciate. So. Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of good happens out of it. So when you have to sit through a traffic light three times before you get through, <laughs> oh. um, put a little smile on your face and know that um, some good is coming out of all of that to make our quality of life better. And to be fair, if it's like rush hour, that happens anyway, you know? Right. <laughs> fair enough, okay. Michael, thank you so much. We are so excited for this weekend. I know it's just gonna be amazing. We're excited too, thanks. We've posted more information on Visit Seattle up on our website, fox13seattle.com slash studio 13 live. And coming up, how well do we know our Taylor Swift trivia? We're going to be putting that to the test coming up next. But first, we are making Eris themed Seattle cocktails with the W Seattle. Learn how to make their champagne problems and midnight's revenge drinks coming up next. So we have talked Taylor Swift concert, fashion, makeup, hair inspo. You still got that glitter in your yes, hair? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> we made the bracelets, tried some themed cookies and cupcakes. The party just keeps going. Oh, yes, it does. So W Seattle, they're hosting a very special Taylor Swift night in their living room bar today at 9 p.m. And we're going to be getting a little sneak peek of some of their Taylor themed drinks with Zach Lippincott and Kiki Gormanos. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for having us. This is so fun. And can we just give a shout out to your Taylor Swift yes. shirt? Thank you. Too. Thank you. A plus for that. Yes. Um, so on top of, you know, the creative drinks, what else can people kind of expect from the party tonight? Yes. So tonight, as you said, at 9 p.m., our doors will open for our Taylor Swift night. We will have DJ Abby spinning Taylor Swift tracks all night long until 1 a.m., as well as our craft Taylor Swift themed cocktails. Ooh. So fun. Victoria's so we're there. Make two <laughs> Which one are we gonna make first? So we're gonna start with champagne problems, but yeah. before we get into that, we're actually serving three, three specialty cocktails this weekend, one of which is not being demoed today, but it's Taylor's favorite cocktail. Any guesses? It's, is it lavender hue? Vodka soda. Oh. <laughs> Vodka and, vodka and Diet Coke oh, is her favorite cocktail. So, so I'm not gonna make really? I'm not gonna make it today because everyone knows how to make it. Yeah. <laughs> Add as much vodka as you want and fill a Diet Coke. Okay. Everybody knows. So Simple. champagne problems. We'll start with this. So we're gonna start with Alphabet Vodka, great <laughs> local company. They actually made us a custom W bottle. We're the only oh, ones in the world cool. that have it. That's so cool. So Alphabet Vodka. 
We'll start with that. We've got just a little bit of simple syrup and lemon to finish. Yummy. Okay. What are we gonna do here? We'll shake it off. Shake it, shake it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I love it. <laughs> we'll give that a quick pour. Look at how beautiful. Okay, and then what would it be without champagne? Any champs will do, but we are bougie, so we're gonna use Terry <laughs> Jouet. <laughs> 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 bougie moment, yeah. Right? Gotta have one. Yeah. And we're gonna forward. finish that, actually, yeah. <gasps> with some cotton candy. Oh, yeah. watch, yeah. watch how it soaks up the vodka, that's the best part. Oh. Come on, <laughs> someone needs to get in there and oh, grab that, that piece cool. of cotton candy. Yeah, yeah. 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 Who's doing it? I'll take oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. Sorry, guests. Kiki, you know, I heard you're a big Swifty. Yes, I am. What's your favorite, like, underrated song? It'd have to be Right Where You Left Me. It's off mm -hmm. of her Evermore deluxe version. Oh. Uh, so she released her Evermore album, and then it came out with a deluxe version. It was my number one Spotify rap song last year. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. yeah. Big fan. Give it a listen. All right. All right. Awesome. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> what about the second drink? Okay. Yes. You see the so sentence? this is called right. We're gonna get, this is the one y'all get to enjoy. So okay. this is called Midnight's Revenge. Again, fun. very fitting. Mm -hmm. So this is in essence uh, a white Cosmo. We're gonna start with that. So oh. it's a little kettle one vodka. Okay. We're gonna get some white cranberry juice in there. I've never heard of a white Cosmo before. I know. White oh, Cosmo, yeah. come yeah. on. I feel like I've never heard of white cranberry. Touch of yeah. Right? I don't know where I've been. Game changer. <laughs> this is a touch of triple sec, Cointreau, or Grand Marnier, as fancy as you want to be. They're all sweet like honey, okay? Okay. Aww. Just get in there, okay? <laughs> okay. Thank you. That's why I'm here. Shake it off. Shake it off. Right. Shake it off. Shake it off. <laughs> okay, in this instance, we like to say, Revenge is a drink best served cold. Love that. Yes, yes. You yes. are really just, you deserve an award. Yeah. <laughs> yes. you know. I've learned a lot in the last couple of weeks, okay? And then here's the fun part. Okay, you all have a syringe of revenge. Oh, you all have God. revenge notes under your cocktail, which you can either write yourself or one of our talented bartenders will write for you when you order. Oh. My favorite, being bitter won't make you prettier. Okay, oh. so pop the top off. Mine is Bef super mean. Before you do it. What do you it is. You look like a before pick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Never know what you're going to get. No. Before you do this, everyone take a moment and think of someone who has wronged you. Oh, that's easy. That deserves this. Ready. Okay. Comes to mind. And then go ahead and give it a shot. All right? All right. Oh, my gosh. I love how interactive Ooh. this is. Oh. Oops. Oops. You were mad about my that. Got your anger out. Oh, yeah. 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 Hello. Hello. Do you get to do your own syringe at the bar? Because that was oh, bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Revenge note, if you want. You can send it to someone across the bar That's if they need awesome. to hear something from them. Oh, cheers. Oh, I already there was cheers. a lid on There was a little lid. Did not know that. There we go. All right. Okay. All right. Cheers. Cheers. So a big weekend for all, huh? Mm-hmm. That's good. Ooh, oh, that's, that's delicious. Really good. Yes, delicious. it is a big Thank weekend you. for everybody, <laughs> but here's it. the deal. Yeah. I, was, I just finished an interview where we talked about how many people are going to be in the city. Mm -hmm. They're looking for other fun stuff to do. So uh, talk to us about how people can show up to the party. Yes, so we have a reservation link, um, and it is currently sold out, but we're opening <gasps> up 50 more slots. Okay. Yay. This is also <laughs> one of those things where come one, come all, right? Mm -hmm. We yeah. have a reservation list. Right. All are welcome for those who are going to the concert and those who aren't going to the concert. Mm -hmm. This is a time for Swifties to unite and come together and just celebrate the weekend. That sounds I love so that. fun. Yeah. <laughs> Has anyone here ever been to like a Taylor Swift dance party? I know that they're I'm thrown not. every once in a while. Yeah, everywhere. Yeah. yeah. It's the most fun. I've never my, been to one. My friends fun. put it the best yeah. way and it's a way to just spend <laughs> the night listening to your favorite music. With Aww. everyone who also love the same music. Victoria Aww. said she's been to one. How was it? So much fun. You're yeah. just like yeah. singing, <laughs> screaming, dancing, <laughs> partying. That's what's about to happen in here. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 Some of us will just spill drinks there. Yeah. 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 Just because it's Most fun. Well. Yeah. Okay, well, I, I just want to say that I really appreciate how creative you guys are. The W sure. always very creative when it comes to the fun stuff going on in our community. And you know what? If you can't, if you're not one of the lucky 50 to get to go to the party <laughs> with those extra 50 tickets that opened up, 
You can always show up anytime, yeah. right? That's right. right. That's right. Always. We are always open. You know, show up I'm before good. the party starts. That's right. I hang out there a lot. I love that place. It's Perfect. Such a yeah. good vibe, too. Oh, amazing. Great vibe. Yes, and get in there. So Absolutely. We're, uh, we're ready for the chaos to descend upon the hotel. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For trouble to walk in. Yeah. 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 Can we read our revenge napkins before we go? Time to hit up your best friend is what mine says. What does yours say? Mine says, I know your passcode. Ooh. What about you, Joel? Mine says, girl, that boy is a liar. <laughs> <laughs> Nina? Mine said, should have listened to my mom about you, and my mom is going, yes, you should. <laughs> Mine says, how dare you? And how dare you? That's it. <laughs> And Kiki, thank you so much. We've posted these drink recipes on our website, fox13seattle.com slash studio13 live. Yes, and coming up soon on Studio 13 Live, we're going to be getting to taste a bunch of delicious brunch options at Ascend Prime Steak and Sushi in Bellevue. But first, it is time for some Taylor trivia. Get ready to sweat it out, okay? <laughs> Studio 13 Live versus the Jubal Show. Put them up, guys. That's coming up next. <laughs> Check that out. It's a live look at Lumen Field. They're getting all set up for Taylor Swift. Building that anticipation. We're so going to be in there just a couple <laughs> days. Um, OK, now is the moment that everyone has been waiting for all week long. Are we ready for it? We're so We're ready, ready for it. We're so ready for it. All right. We want to announce the winner of our Taylor Swift ticket giveaway. We had so many people enter. We did. And thank you all for your stories and everything. But the winner is Evelyn Blevins of Lacey. Yay! Congratulations. We've actually spoken to her, and she is overjoyed because one of her daughters was able to get tickets, but the other one wasn't. Aww. Okay, so she is just really excited to be able to do this. And, and we got so many messages from people telling us their beautiful stories about why they wanted the tickets. Uh, you know, and we got through all the messages, but we, we don't actually look at them to pick the winner, right? That wasn't part of the deal. It was kind of a random thing. A mm -hmm. computer system did that but we appreciate you. Yeah, we're so grateful for everyone who watched this week and entered the, to win. And I hope you keep watching Studio 13 Live because we've had a good time this week. We right? have. A absolutely. Every week. A blast. And we're going to keep that party rolling because it is time for some uh, Taylor trivia. Yes, so <laughs> it's going to be Studio 13 Live versus the Jubal Show. Let's go. And we want all of you to play along at home with us too. And we're here with our amazing trivia host and fellow Swifty, Abby Oconey. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Friday. Friday. Yeah. Loving that. <laughs> Guys, I am so pumped right now. I know I'm here with the Fox 13 family, but unbiased, let <laughs> me <laughs> give you the rules. It's okay. very easy. Okay. So I'm going to take turn asking y'all questions. You have 10 seconds to answer. If you don't in time, the other team can steal. And if you get it wrong, the other team can also steal. The winner gets bragging rights okay. and gets to be officially called the mastermind the <laughs> superstar. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. I okay. already have that on my business card, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. You can get that for your lower third next time. <laughs> right, thank you. Uh, we will start with Studio 13 with okay. question number one. In which state was Taylor Swift born? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, correct. Yeah. Got the right answer over yeah. Studio 13. Okay. Right Christmas away to number two. Okay. What is Taylor Swift's birthday? Speak now. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in you. <laughs> Five, four, three, December, I think. two, one, and your answer is December thirteenth. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Can we give a partial answer? <laughs> it's December. Sure. You're right. You know what? We're going to give something. you a point just because what? we're feeling the Taylor Swift flag. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. 1989. You were almost there. If we gave you was, two more seconds. Oh, oh no, 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 was it December? Was it December? Oh. Oh, okay. It was yes. the oh, nice. 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 Oh, nice. We knew it. We knew it. We knew it. We knew it was going on. Okay. Hey, so it goes, as she would say. Number three over here was Studio 13. What was the name of the song that she wrote for Rihanna? Oh, I know. Okay. We found love in a hopeless place. Or we found love. No. With Calvin <gasps> Harris and Rihanna. Oh, With Calvin Harris and Rihanna. We're going to give the Jubal Show. The chance to answer this, and you're going to get 10 seconds. What? Those 10 seconds are oh, ticking down. Eight, seven, six, five. Probably not Ponderipo. Yours, you're all definitely not. No, it was not that. These are great guesses. You won't get any credit, but any second guesses from any of you? 
Love the way you lie? No. Cake. This is what you came for. Oh! oh. To do this. All right, so that was, was, was that y'all? Okay, so yeah. number four, yeah. here we go. Okay. What was the what name time? of the tour Taylor had been planning for 2020? The name of the tour she planned that the pandemic sidelined. What is it? The name of it. I think so too. Okay, okay. and? Lover? Yep. Oh, you're, you're crushing me. Not quite. Is it Wait. our turn? Is it our, it feels We're like our turn. <laughs> Hold on, it's our no. no, it was like love something. Yeah. Okay. Lover fest. Lover fest. Oh! Well done. Well done. Oh. This, it, yeah. this is tough. This is tough. You're almost there. <laughs> Who knew you were such a Swifty? Yeah. 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 knows her pop <laughs> trivia. Okay. <laughs> you Thank still you. got. You were nearly there. I know. This I knew. Very, I knew this. Fair and equal battle in the Great yeah. War. Okay. okay. So, Great like, War. Questions for y'all. Okay. You know these. You know Taylor has <laughs> hair eras, right? We know right. all. We, you could probably name all the different eras. And we kind of want you to do that. We want you to count them. How many album covers feature Taylor's curly hair? Oh, man. Reputation. Oh, yeah. Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift, Speak Now. Yeah. Um, count is Right. Time is up. All right, let's go. We want to hear the number. We're going to give Five. you. That is incorrect. Oh. Stand by. Is, okay. Stand by, though. Okay, we're standing by. Okay. <laughs> we're turning over to the Jubal Show. <laughs> the number of curly haired albums, and the answer is, ladies and gentlemen, oh, what's no, your guess? Three. Let's go. Three? Yes. You are correct. <gasps> <Yes>. <laughs> So curly didn't mean like wavy, <laughs> wavy textured. Just because yeah. we were confused we with like fairly curly. Back in the booth, are we gonna give partial or full credit <laughs> yeah. to both? It's okay, you can give it's it to them. Right. You're getting full you credit. Get it. You get it. Okay. You get it. Okay. Okay. And in case you're wondering, everybody, it's a debut. Yeah. Fearless <laughs> and speak now. Yeah. And she totally okay. has. It's an mm. evolution. I get it. So full curls, 100. percent Okay. Okay. So number six. I think we're over here. Oh yeah. Which artist? Is Taylor Swift name after? Oh, oh, I know this, but I don't remember his name right now. We got to get through the rest real quick. Wait, so wait. we're going to give you here five, four, three, two, Try and one. It. James Taylor. Yes, you got it right. <gasps> no! Let's go! Nice work. Let's go! Moving right along. You are. You're a Swifty. All right, guys, I'm feeling some bad blood between you. All right, so what type of farm did Taylor Swift go on? Easy. Christmas tree farm. You got it. Yes. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> Another deep cut for you true Taylor Swift fans over here at Jubal Show. Who is Taylor Swift's best friend from high school? She even gets name dropped in the song 15. Go ahead. Go ahead, babe. Abigail. Yes. Well done. We knew that too. Just we are this. <laughs> we are this. <laughs> we have two questions coming up. You know, don't blame me for how hard these questions are, okay? okay. You know what? We're going to blame you, girl. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> We've got question number nine. What is Taylor Swift's longest song track title? Oh, All too well, the yeah. ten minute version. Oh, the, oh, oh wait, 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 It's not right. I'm we're, sorry, you don't no. get a second go. I don't know. I think we're, she meant we're going like, over here. We get you with ten seconds. Ten, nine, what, eight, what was the question seven. Again? Just name a long one. Six. Like, six name, that's the only five, one I know. Oh. Four, three, two, oh. and All too well. That's only she already said that. No, I know, but she said right. that. Right. That was a trick question. That's right, that's right. I know that you don't get any of her. I don't know. I should say the longest song title. I might have said the longest song Okay, they said I said it right, but okay. Okay, yeah. okay. what was it? We are never ever getting back to you. Oh, yeah. Jubal, that's my favorite. Oh, yeah. we like, <laughs> I know, we jumped all over it. We jumped it. all over <laughs> it. We got too excited. Now, this one is going to be a tough one. Okay. Jubal Show, are you ready to show off your prowess? Victoria, no. Final question for you here Taylor Swift trivia. What was the first surprise song to be repeated on the Eras Tour? The surprise song ah. happening at least twice. I'm relying on you for this passing. <laughs> we have a matter of seconds surprise. here. Think about where Taylor right. is in her it's life so right now, okay? What vibe is she giving right now? Mother Taylor Swift in five, four, 
three, two, and one. Jubal Show, show me what you got. Midnight. I'm so <laughs> sorry. That was, cool. <laughs> that was not it. Right over here, <laughs> we're going to turn over to you. Six. Maroon. Okay. No, I'm so sorry. Uh, was it from her first album? The correct answer is clean. Oh, I would have never got that. Oh, what? Yeah. what I wouldn't have got that either. Yeah. Dang. Okay, you know what? That I know this, but you think about they where she's at in life. She's they so sad and she needs to sing that song clean mm. as a cathartic right, experience. Right, right, right. Okay. 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 Jubal okay. Show coming in as the winner. Yes! Oh, 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 right behind you. Thank you. for you guys. Okay, I swear. <laughs> Up next on Studio 13 Live, Ascend Prime Steak and Sushi showing off two of their unique brunch options. We're also going to be introducing you to a very uncommon citrus. And don't forget, if you missed anything from today's show, you can find it on our website. Head to fox13seattle.com slash studio 13 live. Congratulations, Jubal Team. Hey, it's time for Emerald Eats, where we highlight amazing food in our area. And today we are joined by executive chef Brandon Meal with Ascend Prime Steak and Sushi in Bellevue. Welcome! Thank you. Yeah, so I've, I've seen the Insta, okay, for the restaurant, but describe the vibe to me. Uh, the vibe is kind of all over. You know, there's a multitude of areas to be able to enjoy uh, Ascent uh, between the private dining, uh, between the dining room, between the lounge and the bar area. So it's kind of the best of all areas. Panoramic views yes. all the way around the whole restaurant, uh, 22,000 square feet. So it just kind of depends on what you're looking for. Mm. Okay. So the vibe is immaculate. What are we cooking today? Uh, so today we are cooking an American Wagyu shoulder tenderloin with a sweet potato latka um, and then some uh, braised greens and then a uh, sunny side up quail egg uh, that is finished with a little yuzu hollandaise. Interesting. Let's get into it. All right. righty. This is beautiful and it looks super hearty. Uh, and yuzu, I hear you brought some for us to try. I did. I brought <gasps> some fresh yuzu uh, that has been you know, bottled and it's mm -hmm. imported from Japan. Uh, unfortunately, fresh yuzu, the fruit itself is not quite in season right now, but this is how, in the meantime, we kind of are able to accommodate for our recipe. Cool. Have you tried this before? I, I haven't. Went, uh, over in so, Cheers. Uh, Does this have okay. alcohol or no? No alcohol. Mm. Um, it is kind of a uh, mm. cross between like Ooh, grapefruit. It's, it's like tart. Mm -hmm. Very tart, mm -hmm. uh, but not quite as tart as a lemon would be. Right. But mm. uh, uh, kind of like grapefruit with a slight sweet finish like maybe an orange would be. Mm. I like this. It tastes like those like health shots, you know? Yeah. yeah. What would you oh. pair this with? Uh, something fatty, for sure. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. yeah balance it out a little bit. Counterbalance a little. Interesting. Cool. Okay, wow. All right. Is that nice and hot already? Ooh, very good. Okay, so uh, obviously you're showing us a couple of excellent meals here, but describe sort of the, the way your brunch menu might be a bit different. So the way that our brunch menu is, it's kind of, it's, Dishes that uh, might be recognized, but with our own little spin, I guess, on them. Okay, cool. So presented in an Ascend way uh, with some uh, Asian inspirational flavors um, and uh, just using really great high-quality ingredients. Is Beautiful. Really the most I'm addicted part. to this juice thing. I yeah. love it. I love it. Okay, wonderful. And what are you doing now? All right, so I'm going to take and slice this up so it's mm -hmm. easier to present for us today. Beautiful. Um, and I have my, my sweet potato latka uh, that has been uh, uh, just seared on both sides to soften up the potato a little bit. And I know you're using quail eggs, you mentioned, that to top correct. off this dish. Talk to me about the decision to use a quail egg over a chicken egg. Well, I think the biggest thing is this is a little bit smaller steak, and since we have mm. two medallions, uh, the chicken egg would definitely overwhelm the dish, right? Mm. Okay, and, okay. Uh, Although good, I think that it would be a, a little too rich for the dish and it would kind of cover up the amazing nuanced flavors of the American Wagyu. And so the quail egg has a slightly gamier finish mm -hmm. um, while still having a small amount of yolk, which is really nice to, uh, uh, to kind of, you know, pairs really well with it, right? Yeah, Beautiful. It's nice creaminess to go along. All right, and now we're going to work on the eggs? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and drop the egg in. It's very Little. quick, it's very quick. <laughs> and you have to be careful that you don't break them when you drop them in like I just did. It'll happen sometimes. I don't think I've ever made a proper 
uh, egg that has not cracked <laughs> in, my, in my life. Uh, so congratulations to you. Oh, look at that. Um, and you also have a vegetarian dish for me to try. What am I going to be trying here? All right, so here we have our kind of a souffle pancake. Beautiful. Look at that. Um, it is inspired by a cinnamon roll. Uh, okay. So it is laid out flat and also a cross between a, uh, a Japanese souffle pancake. Okay. Um, and so it, it fluffs up, it rises up, and then we roll it and finish it with a little bit of cinnamon swirl. Uh. So this must be what he meant, right, when we said it's it's pancakes, but we looked at it and we're like, this is pancakes? This is pancakes? I've never seen a pancake like this. This is really yummy. What's the mm. flavor? What are you getting? I really like the texture, too. It's very cinnamony, mm -hmm. which I love. Um, and I'm just going to keep eating it right here. Nice. And I love, is this peanuts here or some little nuts That's on this side? a little thing? hazelnut. Hazelnut, oh, okay. And then it's That's a nice touch on it. fresh berries. Uh, mm. It's finished with uh, a, a little cream cheese icing um, mm -hmm. and then a little bit of uh, <laughs> micro mint. Beautiful. Okay, what are we tossing on here? This is going to be the Yuzu Hollandaise. Oh, that's going to taste so interesting. I can't wait to try. Wow. It looks beautiful, too. And then last thing, a little mm -hmm. finishing salt. Oh, Flaky always salt. nice. Flaky salt. And I love it. A little... Your lavender haze inspired, what do we call it, <laughs> microgreens, or what are these? It's a uh, micro amaranth. Oh, okay, ah. okay. Beautiful, look at how nice that looks. Feels very elevated. Am I able to jump right on in? Go right in for All it. All righty, here we go. Can't wait to try. Mm. It's a winner, but you knew that. <laughs> oh my goodness, so good. So good. Thank you so much for joining us here today. This has been amazing. Thank yeah. you so much for having me. I wow. appreciate it. Wow, so yummy. Okay, so we posted more info on the website, fox13seattle.com slash studio13live. And if you have a restaurant or bar you think we should feature on the show, definitely let us know, studio13live at fox.com. Just send us an email. Have an amazing weekend, whether or not you're going to Eras Tour. We will be. We will be there. <laughs> we will be there in spirit for you. <laughs> Bye. It's happening all around like sunshine.